The equation for the teeth test is the ratio. معادلة اختبار تاء غير المزدوج هي نسبة T is equal to x bar minus x bar 1 minus x bar 2 divided by the square root of the first variance divided by the number of cases in the first group plus the second variance divided by the number of cases in the second group. So in the numerator في البسط we have the difference between the first mean and the second mean. We have the means of the samples in the numerator. While in the denominator, في المقام, we have the variance and the number of observations in both groups. This, this is the mean of the first group, and this is the mean of the second group. We are comparing the mean of the first group with the mean in the second group in the numerator. في البسط بنقارن ما بين المتوسط الأول, المتوسط المجموعة الأولى, بالمتوسط للمجموعة الثانية. The top part is the difference between the two means. The top part is the difference between the two means. The bottom part is the measure of variability of scores. الجزء السفلي في المعادلة. The bottom part is the measure of variability of scores. قيم الاختلاف في القيم للمتغيرين. So the t-value is the difference between the group means divided by the variability of the groups. This is the means in the top and these are the variances or the variability in both groups. Example, in obesity, hemoglobin levels were tested in nine male secondary school students and 10 female secondary school students. في مدينة أبها تم قياس مستويات الهيموغلوبين في تسع طلاب بالمدرسة الثانوية وعشر طالبات في المدارس الثانوية. Results were as follows. هذه هي النتائج. Females, these are the results of the hemoglobin levels in 10 female secondary school students and these are the results of hemoglobin levels for 9 male secondary school students. The question is, do these data indicate that female students have lower hemoglobin levels than male students? هل هذه البيانات تشير إلى أن مستوى الهيموغلوبين بين طالبات المرحلة الثانوية في أبها أقل من ذلك في طلاب المرحلة الثانوية في نفس المدينة؟ We are going to follow the same steps of hypothesis testing. That's to say, statement of the hypothesis, H0 and H1. Then we set the level of significance alpha. Then we apply the appropriate test of significance. In this case, it's the independent t-test. And lastly, the statistical decision by comparing the calculated value with the tabular value. And then if the calculated value is more than the tabular value, we are going to reject the H0. If the calculated value is less than the tabular value, we are going to accept the H note.